I have butterflies and I'm enjoying myself, but I can't help but think I could be setting myself up for heartbreak again. 90 Day of the Single Life kicked off with Chantel gushing to her friends about her recent date with Giannis. He was romantic and I feel like I almost got to the place where I felt like the Chantel before I met Pedro. I really enjoyed the height of him and um, I could tell he has an athletic body. I liked it. Did he walk away with hands locked? He didn't um, grab my hand. I grabbed his. I think he might have been nervous. It was really strange to me. Later, she met up with Giannis and his friends for a hangout sesh, but she's feeling a little bit nervous about how things will end up. I really am excited to see Giannis again today. I want to explore things with him further and get to know him better. But he didn't try to kiss me. It's been a long time since I've done any sort of dating or flirting with guys. I'm very rusty, to say the least. Hey, at least they seem to be on the same page about wanting kids, but it does seem like they're getting a little bit ahead of themselves. Having babies is on my mind constantly, and it's something that actually brings me a lot of anxiety, and time is against me. My eggs are gonna be considered geriatric by the time I'm 35, and I'm 32 years old. So I do have resentment for Pedro for stealing all of the best years from me, it's refreshing to hear Giannis wanting to settle down and have kids because that's all I want to do. Things really heated up when he finally gave her a kiss by the ocean. Mm -hmm. How about that? Is that a good reason? Good enough? It's a good start. OK, wait, is it too dark to swim? Or no, it's not dark. Let's go swim. Come on. Giannis finally kissed me, and I'm on cloud nine. I love kissing Giannis. Tim and Veronica's man Jamal are still facing some issues. Things got so intense that Jamal had to step away before things got too heated. Timothy, like, seriously? Timothy what? You like he just right he just now? ran off and had a tantrum. You're not 23 anymore, Brian. You're you right. want to deal with that? Yes, I do want my man to step to, away. To walk away like yeah. a child. Okay. I just want you to get along. Okay, I'm not gonna say I've never talked about Jamal, but but he's he's crossing the the boundaries a little bit. I hate being in the middle of this. There's no way to win. I can't pick a side without somebody being upset. And now Jamal's saying if something doesn't change, he's unsure about his future with Veronica. If things don't change with me in this relationship, then I don't really know if I'm going to, like, be here. Tim has been the biggest factor as to why I do have some doubts about living here. But it frustrates me that he doesn't even give me the chance to even show that I am good for Veronica. We don't have to be buddy-buddy. We don't have to be even friends, but, like, stop talking about me to Veronica. Like, that's really it. Hi, Ray is trying to bounce back after being ghosted on his recent date. So he decided to go on a trip with his brothers to New Orleans. I would like to have an actual first date at the trip to New Orleans. I would love to be able to hold hands with someone, you know, just to kind of get that touch, you know, and I'm looking to have maybe my first kiss. There you go. Yes, jet lag. Yeah, boy. Oh, nice. I envision my first, you know, real kiss to be, you know, on, on a boat with lights, um, <laughs> you know, the swan boats, and um, it kind of reminds me of Little Mermaid, you know, when the uh, the frog is singing. <laughs> Wait, there's no frog in that movie. <laughs> his brothers are doing their best to boost his confidence, and he's ready to meet some ladies. I am an aggressive woman. I do get nervous making the first move just because I don't really know what their mindset is, you know? Mm. I think, honestly, you, you got to be more of a, a, a bad guy. He's saying you don't have enough edge. Put some spice in your conversation, maybe? Because you got to make the first move. You, maybe, yeah, much, maybe, yeah maybe, you I really see, do. You in a new city. Yeah, you know what I mean? You got, you got to do your thing. <laughs> I feel it. Ty Ray decided to try his hand at flirting, but he might have shared a little bit too much too soon. I was in a four-year relationship okay. with a man. <laughs> a man? Wait. Not like that. Wait. Not like that. 
<laughs> I didn't know it was a man. Were you catfish? Oh, oh my gosh. Nobody want to hear that. <laughs> All right, definitely trauma dumps. Trauma dumps hella early. I'm like, bruh. It seems like he actually ended up making a really great first impression. And now he might be finally going on that long awaited first date. So would you be down to hang out again and maybe talk a little more and stuff? Absolutely. Know each other? Of course, I would love to. Okay. Seriously, yeah, like, that'd I would be fun. love to. Her saying yes to the date makes me feel excited, uh, makes me feel good about myself. She called me a teddy bear and cute. And it makes me feel really good about my confidence. The goal was to have fun, but now the goal is to see where this leads to. So who knows what happens next? Natalie is living her best life, and she's loving the car that Josh got her. It was not in the plan to buy you a car, mm -hmm. uh, but I've seen like how hard she's trying and how far she's come, and like you've done a really good job. I'm proud of you, but you know. Are you sure? I am. I can say so most far, aspects. So yeah. most, most of us. Most <laughs> aspects. Uh, and I know that uh, I know that she needs help. I want to be able to help her out. I think you're on the right path. He's also making good on his promise to help get her a job. He ended up getting her an interview at his cousin's chiropractor's office, but she doesn't seem to be a big fan of chiropractors. I mean, I don't really trust chiropractors. <laughs> The interview did get off to a rocky start because she didn't bring her resume. I do have, but it's in Ukrainian language. Yeah, I need to brush up on my Ukrainian. Don't speak a lot. <laughs> yeah, you have to excuse me because it's my first ever interview in America. So okay. I will fix this uh, detail and uh, I will send you an email, my CV. She was also a little bit too honest when it came to the interview questions. If I were to talk to the people that know you the best, what would they say? Mm. Josh would say, I'm needy. Needy. Mm -hmm. Got it. And when it came to her questions to him, she didn't ask anything about the job. She just asked about Josh. And I'm, um, excuse me, being like more kind of personal, but have you met his mother of his second child? Um, I have not. So she's a mystery. She's a mystery. Why? At least to me. You know what? I, with Josh, I kind of stay out of his love love life. I am. Um... It's weird. She didn't let her disastrous interview get her down. During a dinner party with Josh and one of his producer friends, she decided to show off her acting chops and did an impromptu Shakespeare reading. Прильнувши к церковной ступени, боюсь оглянуться назад. Тебя здесь нет. Там. Нет, ну молодец. Сон грей. That was very nice. Yeah. You are talented. Oh, no, really? Like, it's actually very authentic. But hey, it landed her an audition, so props to her. If you're interested, I would love for you to audition. Really? Oh, wow. Now, now we're talking. I wasn't expecting the Shakespeare monologue in the middle of the dinner, but, you know, it took guts for what she did to come out and actually do that in front of the table, in front of everybody, to, you know, pour it out. And uh, she was a real actress tonight.